This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. All right, we're in a vacant house. Two story. They said the downstairs was freezing. We have a Lux Pro thermostat. I took it off the wall. When you put the fan on on, the fan comes on. But when you put it on cooling, it doesn't come on. So I have it set to cool. And we're gonna ohm out these pins and see if it's calling for fan. Okay. This is common to Y. All right, I wasn't getting any kind of tone. So I'm gonna clip the green and yellow together. And then go to red. I heard the condenser come on. Yep, and there's the blower. So they need a thermostat. So we're, we'll install a new thermostat real quick. All right, so we have our new thermostat installed. Let's go to cooling. Okay, I heard the condenser. And there's the blower. Just a bad thermostat. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the air handler and make sure everything's okay. Okay, well it's a gas furnace. I thought it was an air handler because all the other appliances in this house are electric. So I'll have to go back to the thermostat, pop it off and put it on gas. No big deal. Um, they told me to go ahead and do a maintenance on them, clean them all that good stuff so I'm gonna pull the blow the uh, furnace open check out everything check the drain doesn't look too bad that's an old Goodman furnace there glued that little stub coil is from 2010 this is SC, I'm sorry, CSCF 1824 from 2010. So, got nice beer can cold. <laughs> but we're going to check the refrigerant in it. But uh, this is actually not a terrible looking install. I've seen a lot worse. Take my little thermoset screwdriver. You can see right there where it says gas or electric. We're going to simply move that over to gas. Okay. Because I really thought it was electric. And then we'll go. Stick it back on the wall just like that. Put it back on cooling. I'm sure there'll be a delay. Yep, it's in time delay. All right, wait for the delay. All right guys, I'm getting ready to clean this unit. It's been raining here all day yesterday and this morning, so it's pretty muddy. When you're doing that kind of work, it's always good to get you a pair of rubber boots, especially these. Those are Cajun Reeboks. That's what we call them here. A lot of guys on here have made fun of me because of my Crocs. Y'all can make fun of these too. Get you a pair of Cajun Reeboks. 
We got her nice and clean and purring like a kitten. It wasn't that dirty, but we went ahead and cleaned it. Uh, if you have employees and you want to make sure, and, and if they do a lot of check and cleans on, the, on these style units, here's a way you can check to see if they're really cleaning them or not because unfortunately a lot of guys just go and they don't even clean them, they just spray the outside of them. Here's one way you can check. Back here because they'll always forget to clean that tray out. And you can see that I took all the debris out of there. Now that's rust right there, because this unit's pretty old. But I took all the debris out and put some coil cleaner in there and got rid of as much of the crap as I could. But they'll forget that, especially if they're not taking the door off. They'll forget that part. All right, well this unit's back and running. Bad thermostat and told me to go ahead and clean it up and maintenance it because this one here that I'm sitting on is uh, brand new. We just put it in. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.